Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is number 102 in the Sudoku problem series. So this is a sandwich problem submitted by Farapi, um, and the goal is to place the three in column six. So we're starting to get some different stuff here, and I really like it. So um, there is a copy a li a link below to where you can get a copy of the grid, so you can try this one for yourself. The way sandwich clues work is that the clues outside the grid, um, in this case in columns, if there were some beside the grid, they would work for rows, are the total of the digits that must be between the one and the nine in those columns. So um, that's how sandwich clues work. Yeah, um, I'm going to wait for a few seconds so that you can pause the video and give this one a try and then when you come back and unpause the video I will explain how this works. Okay so um, the important thing to realize about this one is the pressure that is put on to sandwich clues by the fact that the one and the nine are the crusts and cannot be used in sandwich clues. So if we start by looking at this 28 clue so how can you make 28 and put it in crusts? Because you cannot use the one or the nine at all. So the maximum digits you could use if you were trying to do this in four cells would be eight, seven, six, and five. Now eight, seven, six, and five, if you add them together, eight and seven is 15, six and five is 11, add 55 and uh, 15 and 11, and you get 26, it's not enough. So you can't do this in four cells. You have to do it in at least five. Now. You can't do the five cells starting at one of the ends because you need to put a crust outside the clue because it has to be between the one and the nine. So you could put five cells starting here and going down, five cells starting here or going down, or five cells starting here or going down. But any way you do that, um, you are including these three cells in the meat of the sandwich. So those cells there must be in the meat of the 28 clue. And if you look at the 29 clue, that one's even worse. You, the, the total is larger, so you also must use at least five clues. So again, these three clues must be in the meat. Now, we don't know where the crusts are. Um, they could be here um, and here. They could be here and here. We don't know. But these must be in the meat of the, um, the sandwich. You cannot put one or nine in any of these. So now we know the one and the nine in this box must be in here. But with the one and the nine being in here and there having to be a three between them, then we can immediately say that the one and the nine cannot be right next to each other because if they were, this would be a zero clue and the digit that has to be between them is the three that we have to place in the column. Uh, really, really nice. It's just talking about the extreme pressures that can happen with sandwich clues. Nice, simple little um, concept with sandwich that can be so incredibly important. Thank you, Frappi, for um, giving me another problem that highlights some of these concepts in a, a different way. These are similar concepts to ones we've covered before, but presented in a different way. So if you were to see this same logic, if you see the same logic presented in different way in puzzles, it can often be like, why is this the same logic? And I love the way that these problems are presenting um, similar tricks, but in such different ways that you may not recognize them. I think that's excellent. And they're called out a lot more obviously because they're the only things in the grid. So you can reinforce the tricks with these. I, I just think it's great. So thank you, Frappy, very much. Hope everyone is enjoying the series. Um, hope everyone is enjoying the other channel uh, content on the channel. And as always, good luck with your solving.